I had the opportunity to speak with Sergeant Solomon. Interesting man. Didn't have anything good to say about you. You're a liar. Lennox surfaced after Cairo. Rumors spread like a virus. Division tried to keep it under wraps, but they couldn't. How did you connect him to Seventh Wave? See, after the Miami screw up, my crew was assigned to take him out. At the time, we didn't know it was Lennox. That all came together afterward. We never knew if the target was really him or not. Yeah, he was good. Kuwait City, Tokyo, almost had the shot in Kandahar. We came close a few times, but he always got the jump on us. S4 finally took him out in northern Pakistan. He's buried in some valley. What's your take on Sergeant Keller? Hothead. He's fucking out of control. See, the guy doesn't know the meaning of collateral damage. Tell me about Valencio. There's nothing to tell. Our crew is assigned to take him out. The op was simple. Get in, get out. After the job at the steelworks, we were upgraded back to alpha status. Valencio was one of the big four targets, a seventh wave boss. He escaped from Charlie team, so we were sent to bring him in. Intel reported he was hiding in an old asylum. Does this mean I get to shoot people in an asylum now? Or what used to be an asylum? Hey, MP5. New gun. I can't suppress it, though. I think I got something. Bad news. I got tracks all over the place. Fresh. Maybe platoon size plus and straight. Copy. Let's not get caught sleeping. Judging by how, how bright the ground is in the shadows, the sky isn't supposed to be black. It's probably just the emulator messing up. Not sure why I can't suppress either of my guns. You are carrying an LMG. I want that LMG. Where'd it go? Ugh. Look at that animation of him slapping the mag on the side of the gun before it actually finishes reloading is probably going to get on my nerves because that's like an extra second later than I should be able to be shooting some enemies and if that gets me killed I'm going to be really annoyed yeah I get it it's all cool and flashy because guns are awesome and everything but uh but holy fuck high RPG I love how I can always tell when I shoot someone holding an RPG because he blows up for no reason. I mean, I understand there's that off chance that maybe I shot the RPG or the rocket propelled grenade itself and it blew up, but come on, that's not going to happen every time. <laughs> and I love how every time I shoot someone that's right next to a railing, he suddenly decides, I better Superman off this railing now. Well, there was an enemy over there. There you are. And video game logic, pistols are always more accurate than SMGs, even though that's not how real life works at all. Oh, hey, I got both of them. <laughs> What's this guy doing? It's really hard to see that guy with the background being black. <laughs> I thought I was indecisive about whether he wanted to be a Superman or not. He just started jumping and then tried to change his mind, and it was a little bit too late.
Whoa, there is an RPG around somewhere. I'm gonna find that RPG. <laughs> Again with the exploding. Not sure why. Whoa, hi shotgun guy. Thank you, teammates, for killing that guy. In fact, give me your shotgun. Wait a minute. Does the charging handle move on this when I shoot it? It does! <laughs> That's not how MP5s work. And how did the charging handle magically get pushed backward? I mean, I would understand if the guy pulled it backward just because every video game feels the need to do this for no reason whatsoever, but it doesn't magically just somehow lock itself upward while the MP5 is firing, especially since it doesn't move at all when you're firing at the MP5. Whoa. There are enemies all over the place over here, so I'm going to go ahead and get away. It's an RPG. Alright, I like this, this shotgun and everything, but... Give me the RPG. Whoa! Ow! Alright, where is he? Yeah, you think you're clever shooting RPGs? I can do that too. Oh fuck, he shot one back. Hey look, another indecisive Superman. Get down. I like how you can change it to burst fire, but there's no actual burst fire thing on the receiver of this gun. There's another RPG. Where is it? There it is! <laughs> because fuck your building. I like how my teammates actually help me in this game. They're not some worthless AI you have to tag team along with. Is that it? I see you. You're trying to hide from me. I also see a hole in the ground. And I don't think the enemies are going to stop spawning. So I think that's where I have to go. Either the game is glitched and I this is supposed to be blown up when I... Oh, it's still black, so it looks like I can blow it up. Yeah. No? That guy ran onto my grenade. So did that guy. <laughs> Dear God, these guys are stupid. Yeah. Wow, that's a holy shit. Three, secure the location. Do not let anything go in or come out. Three, do you copy? 
I said hold your position. God damn it, three, hold your position. Zero in on the entrance. I'll take point. Copy. Cover and fire. Moving in. Negative. Hold your position. Don't tell me what to do. Go fuck yourself. I'll do as I please. Fuck the orders. I have full health and full medicates. Cool. Ooh. Now I can use a suppressor. Uh oh. Figured that didn't alert this guy. See you guys up there. Oh, come on. How did they see me like that? That's some heavy bullshit right there. I like the way this gun sounds when I have it suppressed. So this is one of the rooms I re actually remember from Black. Like, there is three spots I remember from Black specifically. The first level, where that museum blows up, I think it's supposed to be a museum anyway. That one part of the, I think it's the fourth level, where you have to walk across, or you come over the hill and there's that minefield in front of you, and then this one. I remember this one very well because you come up some stairs and there's a bunch of heavies. And I think this is also where they introduced the, uh, the guys of the riot shields. I remember that very, very well. Remember, it should be heavies just in this room over here. First level clear, proceeding to next area. Stand by for update, over. Yeah, I see you. Ow, what? Oh, hello, heavy. Ow, holy shit. That guy really hurt me. <laughs> Fuck your walls. Hi, right shield. Like a grenade? Why did that grenade not do anything? That one did. I got, got fucked. Thought I saw somebody. Hey, shotgun ammo. Ooh! Give me this. Let's go ahead and try this M16 out. An M16 that magically has burst fire and auto that to my knowledge doesn't actually exist anything behind wall number two you know what fuck that I have grenades fuck where's the door <laughs> I blew open this door don't have a suppressor for it Wow, is it just me or do you zoom in farther with the M16? Let's try the burst fire. Y 
do have an LMG. You should probably uh, not fall to the ground floor because I wanted that LMG. Wow, that's one long reload animation. Oh. That really, really hurts. Holy shit! Man, I really pissed these guys off! Fuck your cover! And again with the Superman. Am I already almost out of ammo with this? Oh, I barely even got a chance to use it. I guess, well, well, I guess that's why it's a hidden M16. You know, I remember this being a lot harder back in the day. This level specifically. This room seems very, very familiar. Well, we all know where Modern Warfare got its inspiration from now. This pretty much plays exactly the same way, too. Ugh. Might as well use the ammo I got for this. Yes, I got more ammo. <laughs> like, I just fucking sat there and stared at that grenade. Like, oh, what's that? Oh, dear God, all the enemies. What is this? MP5. Guy has a shotgun down here. Hello, floaty MP5. So walking up here spawns enemies, but there also seems to be ammo and useful stuff. Hey. That side didn't seem to spawn anyone. you still there? Ah, fuck. Where is all of the enemies? I hear someone getting closer. Either that or that's the fire I'm hearing. See if there's any, uh, pistol ammo. See if there's anything useful in these rooms. I 
think all these doors are accessible, so I shouldn't need to shoot down any walls or anything. Whoa. Who's shooting at me? There's gotta be someone on the other side. I really wish I could pick up their, um, riot shields. Then that would remind me of Urban Chaos. I actually tried to play Urban Chaos with this emulator, but apparently Urban Chaos cannot be emulated. It just creates problems. Which is really disappointing, because I actually really enjoyed that game. And a uh, fun mini fact of the day, Urban Chaos was made by the same people that made Arkham Asylum. That was their very first game. Oh, whoa. When did they get all that ammo? Sweet. Die! Thank you. Already almost out of ammo again. I'm gonna hold on to this because I'll eventually find more assault rifle ammo laying around. And it'd be more beneficial to have some long range gun instead of two SMGs or an SMG and a shotgun. Where did you come from? Wow, that grenade blew up quick. Tell her whatever you're doing, do it fast. Hostile reinforcements headed this way. Told you I'd find more assault rifle ammo. Which looks like it's going to be very useful in this room. This is McCarver. We got multiple hostiles trying to get into the building. We'll try to hold them off. We'll try, but we're receiving heavy fire. Do you copy? Whoa. Holy fuck. These guys do not like me. And there's no cover in here. Give me that medikit. I have no grenades. God damn, those guys take way too long to kill. Stop running away from me. You know, why did no other game do what Black did? When your crosshair goes over a, uh, some explosive thing, it turns black, so you know you can blow it up. Because I always kill everyone in the room I'm supposed to kill, and then after everyone's dead, I find the explosive barrels. Like, oh, thanks, that does me a whole lot of good. Especially Crisis. Crisis, it's like even worse in Crisis. Alright, now what am I supposed to be doing in here? Oh. 
Stop being mad at me. I haven't even done anything yet. You only have the right to shoot at me after I start shooting at you. Yes, more assault rifle ammo. Okay, we're starting to get into copy paste levels. I have no grenades, fuck. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize there was a hole in the ceiling. Oh my god. I don't know what's going on, but whatever it is, it's getting me killed. I'm pretty sure this is another clown closet case. Or they're just gonna keep on pouring in at me until I kill someone. Or do something or other. I'm gonna move away from all the enemy spawns. I think there might be a boss around here with an LMG or something. Dear God, fuck this. I need some cover. This one right shield guy gone. None of this is cover. It stopped. You... Why can I not kill this right shield guy? I really need. To oh, hey, I have grenades. Well, that's useful. I think I killed him. No, I didn't. Holy shit! You did not survive that. There we go. I think the fucking health kits are plentiful. You really need them. Dear God! Okay, I really, really need to figure out what I'm supposed to do. I'm not gonna survive. Do I need to blow this up? Just 
gonna go ahead and assume yes because that was what I was supposed to do. <laughs> okay, I probably should have learned from the first time. Hey, and that was the end of the level. Well, that was one way to end a level. <laughs>